Frenzy Party. Our friend Tea Party is coming at you live from the parking lot next to the dumpster. Dumpster right here. Yeah. This is the, uh, the regular dumpster. Next to it, you got the cardboard dumpster. Yeah. And here's the recycle. Voice, 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 voice memo number two. Why don't you record on your... <laughs> Whatever. Because the sound quality on my phone... <laughs> Hello. Would anybody have an idea what this tab would be called? Uh, I think it was Bobby Pickett Monster Mesh. Oh, oh, Bobby Pickett. I don't know, it might, you know... Didn't they do uh, Monster's Holiday? It might be called the Transylvania Twist. <laughs> Well, whatever happened to the trend? recording is still going on. However, I can check that Tea Party, the world's only a podcast. Here comes eight minutes of running water sound effects. Oh, this 
Listening to Bear Friend Tea Party, the Netherworld's only podcast. The show that okay. rips you open with a chainsaw Who's just to tickle your to funny bone. The show that crawls through Anybody? your ear, tunnels uh. into your brain, and lays its eggs. This podcast is coming from inside your house. My name is Christopher Winter, and joining me on the podcast tonight, the groovy grave robber, the grim clown from Funky Town, the Charles Manson who can't stop dancing, Mr. D. Gunnard Beamish. Also with us tonight, the apparition in peak condition. The Waylon Wyvern who's always thriving, the Night Stalker who loves to rocker, Mr. Jeremy Mullis of North Carolina. And finally, a jolly orange pumpkin on your doorstep, Dr. Jonathan Bumpers. Pleased to be here. I like the Charles Manson who can't stop dancing. Yeah, that was really the only good one. That's... That's fine, it was so choppy we couldn't hear much of it anyway. Yeah, I just heard Charles, and I, that's why I said... <laughs> um, Man, that audio worked. is really Go bad, huh? Can I... Uh, are you doing the, the, uh, your prepared Halloween intros, right? I just did, yeah. You know, this, this, is, not the, this is not the Halloween special. I... Well, when is when is the Halloween I thought it special? Was, uh, isn't this the Halloween spooktacular? No. Yeah, yeah. That's it's just spooktacular. No, we, uh, but we discussed this earlier today. Like you, I wasn't Chris is paying only, attention. You, uh, Chris, you weren't gonna be here except in like fleeting little uh, excerpts while you were in the middle of watching some sports event. I'm not prepared for this. I don't have any of my spooky instruments here. It, I'm at my Danny, office. It kind of sounds like you're saying... I'm recording this podcast from the bathroom of my office. Danny, it kind of sounds like you're saying, I shouldn't do the Halloween... I shouldn't do the Halloween intro because this isn't the Halloween show. And this isn't the Halloween show because I'm not here. So, Danny, what, are you, what is it that you're saying? You don't want to do the Halloween episode? No, I'm perfectly fine doing the Halloween episode. It's just I wasn't... You're I not prepared to do the spooky noise scape? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, I have a whole bunch of... Well, I... I mean, you have a sink there. You have some, like, <laughs> soap containers. I have soap and hand sanitizer. I mean, it looks pretty spooky. Who are you in your bathroom? Wait, wait. Somebody say they're scared of aerosols. Come on. You, you guys want me to say it? I'm Never really mind. scared of aerosols. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. No, hold on. It's getting my computer all wet. I'm recording this podcast from the bathroom of my office. Topic one. All right. Topic one. Blowing bubbles at weddings. Cute or incredibly stupid? Incredibly stupid. Incredibly now, I stupid. have an opinion on this. I've noticed a trend at, at, at weddings of late. It seems like the last five or six weddings I've been to, uh, uh-huh. people have had bubbles at them. And I'm yeah. like, and I'm like what's, what's the deal with that, you know? You know, like the first time it was kind of cute, you know, and like, I don't know, subversive or... 
whatever. But now it's just Sub- trendy. Subversive? You know? like now it's yeah, like bubbles the, are subversive. Well, you know, in lieu of like... I, They're transgressive. I, I it's in lieu of, you know, like rice or whatever. I think that... Well, no, uh, what, an issue I had heard was that uh, people were, were saying you shouldn't throw rice because... <laughs> The birds will eat the rice, and then it will make the birds explode because which they eat too much awesome. rice. Right, which sounds awesome. <laughs> I guess some people felt bad for the exploding birds. Yeah. I always, well, I thought the bubbles were pretty people. rad. The trick, the trick about that is, so, you throw, you throw bird poison instead, and then the birds won't explode because they will have already died. No, no, you want to save your poison so you can hand it out on Halloween. I just uh, I like it when they just throw birds, just throw dead birds. Does anybody yeah. know what the thing with the rice is? Anyone? Anyway, uh, like, like what's? It's supposed to symbolize rebirth, like the harvest, like uh, you know, weddings, marriage, and. You remember in like in the eighties, everyone was kind of weird about like. Asian people, they had like a, they were kind of like afraid of Japanese people and like mm. China and stuff. Are you sure oh, you're talking yeah. about like 40s? <laughs> no, you're thinking of no the 80s. Japanese, that sounds right? reasonable. Yeah, yeah. I think it had. I oh, think it probably big, originated uh, around big, that time. The big shonen knife uh, scare. The big shonen knife scare of the 80s. <laughs> that was the time of um, Long Duck you... Dong in Sixteen Candles. His name is Long Did I tell you guys Duck I saw Dong. shonen knife? In did you? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was pretty rad. You sent you me a, 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 a video of yourself at, in the, the audience at a show and knife concert. Yeah, did they, they play started with like a ten-minute banana chips jam? It was really. Did they play all their hits that I can't remember? Did they play Fish Eyes? They, I, they did play Fish Eyes. I think it's a good one. My God, I've got Fish Eyes. Oh no! My yeah, God, yeah, I've they, got. Fish oh, they played fish eyes. They played I Wanna Eat Choco Bars. Oh, that's a good song. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're, you were going to make that, uh, you were going to take your senior quote from that song, right? I was? In high school? Yeah. You were going to make your senior quote, I want to eat Choco Bars? <laughs> oh, no, no, you were going to make it, uh, oh, gonna, I'm it sorry, I like Choco Bars. No, it was it, the lyric was uh, you, you were gonna have the, the your senior picture be a picture of you in the bathtub, <laughs> like covered in bubbles. No, that doesn't sound like me. Overflow, like in a bathtub overflowing with bubbles, and you were gonna have an ice cream sundae in the foreground. <laughs> I wish and, I the, had this idea. and the lyric was gonna be. From Shonen Knife, the lyric is going to be, I'm looking forward to eat ice cream after my bath time. I'm looking forward to eat ice cream after my bath time. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably better than whatever I actually went with. You don't remember that? No, I don't Yeah, there's that. no way, there's no way that whatever you used what was you better use than that. cooked rice? What? Would that still make the birds explode? I, you know, I think that... What about rice that, cakes? The, they, were explode, the, they would explode because they would, like, what, soak up water and get bigger or something, right? Bullshit. It, it may be, it may be, um, you know, they, they, there's a whole, like, kind of cottage industry of selling these various, like, one, you know, single-use wedding bubble blower things. Oh, it's yeah. a big conspiracy, mm. right? It could it be. Is. I mean, the, you know, rice is just a commodity, but those little, like, wedding thing, wedding bubble things are less so. Though they could just as easily make, like, little things of rice shaped like... I, I don't know. I think it's... I'm going to come on, come down on the side of cute, personally. I'm going to say stupid, no, but let probably... me tell you what. We went, yeah. we went to a wedding about a year ago couple years ago now and they had a candy buffet and it was like the greatest thing ever they just had all this candy and bags and you could put the candy in the bags like choose what you want and put it in and take it home to remember their love for each other when you eat the candy also like a a giant animal shaped 
like uh, like an creepy. animal carcass. It was in like a giant <laughs> like yeah. animal yeah, it carcass. Was, well, yeah, I mean they had hunted and killed um, an elk. I think it was. No, and I then mean, stuffed okay. it with Can I bonbons. Tell you guys what is it's a, it was a bloody pinatas, elk carcass days. stuffed with bonbons. That's Do a you guys symbol know of what's love. Bullshit about pinatas these days. <laughs> yeah. Go on. <laughs> no, I mean I don't even. Wait, I want to get. I mean, wait, I mean, wait, I, I do, do but I want to see if you wedding. know. No, there are so think, many what things. What do you think is bullshit about pinatas these days? That they're all cartoon characters. They can't it's not only appropriate. goes into the very center. It's not appropriate. You know, if it's like a donkey or something, there's no candy yeah, in the Yeah, pinata legs. should be a donkey oh, or something. Oh, if I scam. stuffed your pinata, if I stuffed your pinata, <laughs> you know there would be candy all up in that shit. No, when we got it, last time I got a pinata, like, yeah, the it sounded whole thing, kind of dirty. you put the candy in is bullshit. But, you know, if you cut it open and, like, you, you can really stuff that thing full of candy, mm. let me tell you. We we got a piñata for someone who was like they were on like a protein diet at the time, so we had to like fill it with like beef jerky and gum and stuff. <laughs> See, but a lot of that stuff was like really big, so broccoli. Yeah. I had to like cut it open completely and tape it back up. It was like all cu- it, it was it was pretty great. But yeah, I got it in the legs and the head. I mean, if you get enough stuff, you got to use all the available space in there. Yeah, well, they don't oh. make it easy for you. They oh. don't make it easy. No, okay. That was bullshit. Those are, those are, now that I'm um, thinking about it. What? Now that I'm thinking about it, it would be really, really great to get a piñata like at a kid's birthday party. You know, like little kids, like six, seven, eight, and fill it with vegetables. Like just carrots, some broccoli and stuff. And peas. Cooked you know, and vegetables? they're banging. No, I think raw. You know, they're banging at it and banging at it, and they're so excited, and then finally they burst it open, and it's just, you know, bell peppers. <laughs> or ball bearings. <laughs> <laughs> now, my friend Logan always said it would be funny to, to make Rocks. a piñata pin, filled with glue. <laughs> <laughs> would pour out on you. No, but, um, like, would you let the glue... would probably be expensive to buy that much glue. <clears throat> No, no, you can get it in bulk. (laughs) Somebody's never bought glue before. (laughs) Yeah, you just, you just. Well, I mean, if you, I don't know, I I would want. Home Depot, just go down to the Home Depot. You can get a five-gallon jug of like uh, construction adhesive. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Whoever's editing this podcast, put in the record (laughs) scraping. Because, Jeremy. Did you say yeah. Home Depot? <laughs> y- y- yes. You're the same guy that said uh, Dokken <laughs> on a recent podcast. I saw Weird Al at a casino. I saw George Carlin at a casino. Yeah. Didn't you see Dokken at a casino, Danny? Excuse me? Dokken? No, no, no l- let, it, let him say that again. Well... I, okay, I, I am that guy, and uh, but we're talking about two different phenomenons here, because in the one case, like in my, pr- Phenom- my pronunciation, yeah, pheno- yeah, phenomena, sorry, phenomena. my pronunciation of, do, 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 do. of Dokken, <laughs> my mispronunciation of Dokken was an honest mistake, I had never heard anyone say the name of that band before, I had only seen it written, I knew it was funny, but I did not know how it was pronounced. In the case of the Home Depot, uh, that was an intentional, affected pronunciation. Oh, it's like saying Target. Yeah, I've had that experience. I think I did that with the band Dio. Or is it Dio? Yeah, and it was, but it was actually Metallica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was Megadeth. Ugh. John, so. So how so you you you've gotten so you've gotten really like uh, starting to get annoyed by these bubbles? Have you like started like do you now when you go to a wedding do you refuse to blow bubbles? I, oh, shit. I scowl. No. Do you uh, do you I pop th- I all the bubbles? I thought it was really cute uh, the first time I, I, I encountered it, um, which probably was at one of your guys' weddings. I don't know. 
I think uh, we had bubbles at mine, but we did. We forgot to tell people to use them or what we were going to do with the end. I thought we were yeah. supposed to drink the, well, drink the bubble stuff. You kind of left it open stuff. to the anarchy of the, of the wedding guest list. Um, and no, it was really cute the first time, and then like the next, you know, nine times, it, it, it sort of lost a little bit of its charm. The last wedding I went to... Um, I mean, uh, weddings are all about, you know, it's doing the same shit that everyone else does. You know, it's like, oh... I mean, do you complain when they have cake, too? Yeah, like, oh, that's... God, you know, I thought oh, this cake more thing cake. was cute for a while. And, you, you know, know, kind of like, you know what's out. really cool is when people give uh, people serve pie at weddings. Yeah, I, I agree especially, with that. That's especially like a savory pie. Well, you should have brought what that of, up when, we, when our topic like was a pie. Chicken, what a kind of chicken pie? You brought that pie. up instead of just let me flounder there well, like hold a... Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say the name of the pie like six times? Uh, chicken pot pie. 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 Chicken pot so here's why pinatas these days are bullshit and i wish chris were here because he might be able to corroborate this i mean you guys all gave extremely good reasons why pinatas are some pinatas can be bullshit but i have a a, a kindergartner and I went to a uh, modern day kindergartner's birthday yeah. party uh, a couple week, uh, like two weekends ago. Which, by the way, by the way, uh, a kindergartner's birthday party these days is really? badass. Yeah. I, I, uh, the, yeah. yeah, they. The, bar, the party was at this place called Bounce. Yeah. <laughs> and you might think it was just a bunch of a bunch of like moonwalks or something. But it was an entire. Like, you might you might city just block. dismiss it as a bunch of moonwalks. That sounds like a great uh, name for a yeah, brunch well, restaurant. Well, that would be fun. That would be fun. And there are places like that, but this place was called Bounce, and it had like it was like going to sh- like Chuck E. Cheese or Showbiz Pizza or something, but instead of like video games and animatronic robots, it had like 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 mile after mile or like. Of of like trampolines, Whoa. but it had, it, they were all like separate trampoline rooms. It had like either they had trampolines on either side, so you could play trampoline dodgeball, or they had trampolines on the floors and on the walls, and you could play trampoline basketball, or they just had trampolines and like where you could jump on the trampoline and then jump into a pit of. Snakes. Foam blocks. Were the were th- it was just basically like an entire play area with made of. Were trampolines. grown-ups allowed to do the stuff? Uh, it's funny because they mostly had children's birthday parties there, but on the weekends after hours they did have nice. adult. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Would they turn the yeah. lights off and do like yeah. a, you know, like they do at bowling alleys? And- Strobe lights and everything. Yeah, like di- like yeah. disco. They have where they have naked naked sex bowling. Well, I don't know. I mean, I tr- I took my clothes off, but they- no, I-, I don't know. I don't know if you can get naked. I have to assume so. Interstitial. I know a place where you can go. Where you can. 
jump! On a trampoline while you play dodgeball. I thought you were gonna play more long notes. It's okay. It's hard to jam via long distance. It's harder to read one another, you know. Jeremy, uh, 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 do you play that preset Casio beat? At, at every single button. All right, let, let me make sure I'm recording. Okay. Yeah, like so. I better save the sorry. I went into this place where uh, there was a birthday party going on. Yeah. And was it called Bounce? You know, it was, and I went to. Uh, I was I going there to pick up my daughter, and I did. It was like a few episodes ago, <laughs> and I went in there, and uh, they were they were just having the cake and everything, and uh, I, they were going to have a pinata. And the, the parents came up to me and they said. Oh, we need your help. We need you to hold the piñata. So I thought that was a little weird, <laughs> but it, I guess I was uh, one of the one of the. That is weird. Don't there. they usually have like, so like hooks okay. for that kind of stuff? You know, you know hanging. Stuff. Yeah, but it, it was inside. It was it was indoors. Yeah, and I said, "Oh, you want me to be the tree branch?" Okay. So I held the piñata above the children. And I said, "So." Uh, I just hope I don't get hit in the face. <laughs> kind of as a joke, and the it was like more of a joke than I thought it was because the parents were like, "No, no, no, this is not." They don't allow that kind of pinata. What? What? Yeah, this was what? like a uh, the kind that right. you hit. This is you don't get to hit this it. This is not the. There was no hitting this pinata. You, how how do you get the candy out? This was a prefab well, you, pinata you, you with, told them that with, bullshit, with like. Right? I mean, it's not really a pinata if you don't hit it. Well, basically, except I was already holding it in front of these children, and I didn't want to be like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> I don't want to. I don't you know, know ruin not. this. I don't want to ruin this, you know, five-year-old's birthday. So I was just like, "Okay, I'll hold this no-hit pinata here," and it had these streamers come off of it. Turned out these streamers were actually like, like, like strings. And the kids grab the strings, and they pull the strings, and it kind of rips what? the pinata apart. That's so. That's uh, that's not a pinata. Yeah. But it, but I mean it it was a pinata. I mean it was made of pinata material. It had the the streamers and whatever coming off of it. I mean that it was filled. I with would candy. Say that that pinata is almost the exception that proves the rule. The rule being that pinatas are pretty rad. And that piñata... You mean like Abraham Lincoln? Huh? Yeah, like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> so... Regular listeners will understand that. <laughs> when, when they hear this, like a month from now. <laughs> oh, none of our, none of our nice. listeners are regular. <laughs> nice. So, um, we're going to have to find a new 
clips of different laugh tracks so people don't catch on. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, you know what we really need is a new clip of an angry cat, because that one we have, it's just not that good. It's not that angry, frankly. It's, you know what, it's the best I could do. <laughs> it's not the clip that goes rare. Oh, yeah, no, you need. Did you, you, mean, you, you, you set, set out to create an angry cat noise, or did you just record the noise and then? No, I think no. I think it should be faster than that. I think it should be more like, oh, I've just been hit by a crash one. Because that's a fine sound. I just question the name. That's all. You know. You know what I mean? But you know the you know the stock sound effect I'm talking about. Where it's like. Yeah, I mean, that's useful, too. I'm not saying we just... I know, but I'm... T- you know the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one that goes like... You know? Where it's like, oh, I'll just, I'll just toss this over here. That's not what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? What about that, what about that one stock sound effect that is like a car crash? <laughs> yeah. Where it's like... Yeah, that one. That's you great. Know the one? <laughs> what? No one. No one has any problems with that. I mean, yeah, but you know, the problem is we don't have that kind of budget that we can license those like top tier sound effects. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you uh, not just stealing them? Like the rest of us are. I was. I think I was. I was getting them from freesounds.org or something. Yeah, I think I got a few from there. I got. I got a bunch from uh, some website where you were supposed to pay, but I did not do that. So when you download them, they're like they have the audio watermarks where it says like <laughs> it's like audio. Audio stuff. 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 Audio If you just play them from the website, they they don't. They still try and do that. It's really funny. You remember when? Would you guys ever buy like 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 promo CDs in the dollar bin for like fifty cents? It'd just be like a little like flat case, and and but like every like twenty five seconds or so, it'll be like. You're listening to this album. <laughs> or just like the music would fade down, it would give like a station ID and then kind of come back. I have a uh, an album by Cannibal Corpse <laughs> that is just like running along like <laughs> Metal Blade Records presents <laughs> Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> It's really good. <laughs> which which album? Uh, it's probably one around the turn of the yeah. century. Doom of the mutilated, the bleeding, eaten but, back uh, to life. Maybe the wretched spawn. Fifteen oh, year cannibal. killing uh, spree. I'm, I'm getting them confused with. Evisceration play. What's the one that did Symphony of Sickness? No, I'm, I'm thinking of Carcass. Well, that's Carcass. Yeah, sorry. Right? See, see Carcass are actually an amazing band. Yeah, Carcass <laughs> has. I have no problems with Carcass. Carcass well, no, is, no. Carcass Cannibal is Corpse like, are one of those like big name bands. It's like okay, they're groovy. They got some pretty good riffs. It's funny when like Ace Ventura <laughs> bobs his head along to their music, but it's like it's not that great. But I mean, Carcass are are awesome. Carcass yeah. is I, I would jazz. give you that. Yeah, Carcass are like yeah. jazz. They, <laughs> no, they they I are mean, jazz. Yeah. yeah. Well, Carcass have like I mean like they, they their first couple albums are like. Defined grindcore in the eighties, and oh, then they're I don't know about that. mid. Their mid period think, defined think... like melodic death in really? the nineties, and then their their last album before their first breakup was like basically sounded like mega death. You think you you would say, <laughs> but with uh, Carcass, you would vocalist. say Carcass defined uh, grindcore more than more than Napalm Death did. Well, okay. That's that's a strong question. I mean, I'm just curious what you think. I don't have strong opinions about this. I don't know that much Napalm Death. Wait, I thought so, they were. I thought it, Napalm Death. If you had asked me whether Napalm Death invented grindcore, I would have said, I think maybe they did. So where would the beards go? Well, it depends on what orientation your have you, hands hey, have you, were. Hey, do you guys like disembowelment? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I only have one disembowelment album, but it's it's really pretty good. Which one? Oh, let me see. It's got some. I think it's got some long name. One one moment here. Uh, 
Wait, is the album cover like like sort of like okay. like it's, you know like like uh, grace grayscale like uh, with a obscure difficult to read logo and maybe some beast indiscriminately I'm pretty sure doing something that is probably correct. <laughs> it's like some Isn't that kind like of every grindcore album cover. Well, no, or disembowelment death, isn't grindcore. They're kind of cover. they're kind of like uh, you'd think they were grindcore, but they're actually kind of you know they're kind of like uh, more like one of those really almost more stoner death metal mm. than anything. Oh, like really, really slow. yeah, really like kind of sludge metal is what it is. Sludge metal, yeah. transcendence uh, into the oh, peripheral is the album I, like I have. Some sludge it's metal. Some I like I like really slow I, like sleep it's like it's it's kind of like atmospheric sludge metal I would say disembowelment is Were the band coffins No I've not heard coffins Are you on YouTube right no, now No but I can be Look up the band coffins and the song into the coffin <laughs> They're from Japan. I think. The Japanese have some great death metal. Into the coffin, parentheses, oppression. Is that the one? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Actually, it's 11 minutes long, right? Eight. Fine. Wait, wait, wait let's hear it. Yeah, let's just let this... Let this. more keyboards than I remember. I don't know. It's, whatever. I, I, I don't really like it. See, it seems pretty... What do you say? Pretty good. I don't know. So, uh, anymore, I can't even tell whether I like music anymore. Or, 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 or. So, okay, should we do topic two? Topic two. No, can you believe it? They, all they did was pull on the strings. Tell me, no, the no, tell me about the, tell me about how this went down because, so like before they pulled on. Let me ask you there. this: before yeah. they pulled on the strings, had they hit it with baseball bats? Oh, I see what you did there. No, I how made this, a joke how this like, went oh down. my god, I, just don't hit my, just don't my, don't hit my face with the baseball bat. And I was like, ha ha. But the kids, they didn't even expect to be given. What, yeah, what did the kids say? The kids were just like, this is what you do with the pinata? You just pull on it? Well, they were pretty much like, well, whatever I can do, whatever I got to do to get the candy. They don't give a Fuck shit. It. They just want the fucking candy. Yeah, this is you could have yeah, yeah, so just like, the- you know what the next thing is? You know what the next logical progression is? You're just going to be like, hey, kids, it's a pinata. And then you just give them some candy. Or just run, like, grab the pinata and run out just of throw- it. Yeah, that- well, that's what you should do. And bounce off the trampolines into my car. What did the other? Were the other? So let me. Were the other parents like cool with that? They thought that was a reasonable pinata. Or well, well, the parents of the birthday boy were, you know, asked me to be the tree branch, so they knew. What was going on. But did they I'm think it was inside... like? Was, was there other people like rolling their eyes and thought this was a bunch of fucking bullshit or like? No, everyone was taking pictures like, haha, this guy's tall. He's You're the not tree. Even that tall. Yeah, I know. You're like basically that was why I was height, like right? Yeah, I was standing there inscrutable with <laughs> it makes me sick. No, but anyway, seriously, like like you know, kids get excited about anything, which is which is awesome. Like I, I don't begrudge the, the kids for being like, Oh my god, we get to pull this weird well, I mean, what, if you don't know any better, like, what are you going to say? Like, oh, it's a paper mache animal full of candy. I'm not going to complain, but like... Well, if you don't know any better, oh, it's a paper mache animal full of candy that you hit with sticks. Yeah. So, you know? I, I'm sorry, I, I, mean, I, I, I kind of zoned out for like 10 minutes. Um, did, God, damn it. did the parents get mad at you? Yeah, well, because I took the club and started beating the children. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 you're, you're... They don't give a shit, they just want the fucking candy. They're friends, you
Great. Okay. Anyway, um, so all the kid they, they started pulling this pinata apart, and some candy started falling out. It was great. Everybody was happy. And then all the strings got off. The, uh, you know, the pinata was done as far as they yeah, were. Yeah, the strings are always off. Everybody, all the kids were on the ground, like, scrounging for, the, you know, like, m making a mad dash to pick up all the candy. Because it was the tree branch, I could tell by the weight of the pinata that not all the candy was out of it. I started shaking the pinata, and it, it, it became clear to me that the, the candy was in several separate, like, receptacles within the... Animal? What's what, animal? what kind of animal was like, it? Was it like a horse? Uh, I just, uh, dude, I don't know. It was a pinata <laughs> shit. It was like a yeah. It was like a horse or a mule or a. It's like a standard pinata. It was your. It was your. It was your classic pinata <laughs> shit. It wasn't in like. It wasn't fucking like something from a. You know, Monsters Incorporated. It was like a. It was like a donkey, burro, mule, <laughs> horse. Whatever, what yes. have you? It, it wasn't a li it was not a licensed character. <laughs> At any rate, uh, there were different compartments, apparently, but all, all of the ropes uh, strings had been pulled off of it. But there was still at least one compartment that was still full of candy. So I reached up and I ripped the rest of it apart, mm -hmm. but. I guess I reverenced it part a little bit too vigorously because all the candy came out in one big like wave and dumped all over the heads of the children. How, so <laughs> were, were any ground. children injured? I don't know. I was afraid they was would be they because like... they were all on the ground with their they were all on the they were all like on the ground with their heads down picking up candy. Well, and well, what kind of candy was it? Was it, was it like individual like, starbursts or was it like big, you know, king size? But it was every, you know, everything you can imagine. Everything you can imagine. It was like a lot I'm, of hard I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to gauge the, the gauge of the... So I'm holding, I'm like six feet up in the air, like ripped it and then like all this hard candy comes. You know, these kids have their heads down because they're trying to pick up candy off the ground. So, so and then how, like, how many of them were knocked unconscious, would you say? Donut, babe. You've been listening to Bear Friend Tea Party. I've been joined on the podcast tonight by illustrious sex artist Christopher Winter, incredible person, machine uh, Jeremy Mullis of. South Carolina, North Carolina, and strange yellow overcoat, Jonathan Bumper. I'm D Gunner Beamish. You know what would be better than from the band strange yellow overcoat? White limo would be strange yellow. And I residue. am happy to. I'm happy to say it's been a pleasure to have you listening to this podcast. Bud Court. Well, I was Bud Court, uh, the actor, uh, we'd like, as a, as a, as a podcast, as a band, we'd like to thank you, Bud Court, for being a consistent, reliable patron of our, uh, our organization. Bud Court, we would like to Make it our pleasure, pledge to you that did the monster mash. And next time, it was a we will attempt to address at least one topic. It caught on in a flash. At least one topic. The monster from my laboratory in the castle east to the monster. I'm Christopher Winter. The viewers came from their humble abode. I'm Christopher the Machine Winter. From my I'm Christopher the Man. The Adhesive Winter. I am Christopher the Jug Band Winter. I am Christopher Thumbtack. 
winter. They did the monster man. I am Christopher. The zombies. Used the VHS tapes on winter. Party I'm Christopher just Inc. Began. Winter. The guests included I'm the Christopher. Man. May have kissed my hand. Winter on this sun. I'm Christopher. Better shine the floor. Winter. I'm Christopher. The large amount of pop winter. Picker five. They the match. I'm Christopher. Irregular battery size winter. The monster. I'm Christopher. They played the man. Ceiling. Hot on the flash. I'm Christopher. Ceiling. The monster. Out from his I'm coffin, Drax's voice did ring. The king <laughs> troubled by just one king. Of your he mistress the lid and in a compromising situation. Said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania. I'm Christopher. Sepia. Now, the monster. I'm Christopher. The monster man. William Casby, former slave, smashed. Winter. It's now the man. I'm Christopher. Extreme plastic. Now, everything's cool. Drax is part of the band. I'm Christopher Plastic Winter. Monster Mash. I'm Christopher Mad Dog 2020. For you, the living, Winter. this mash was meant to, but I'm Christopher I getting rid of that wall-to-wall carpeting. Winter, and then you can mash. I'm then Christopher. Realtor is actually a copywritten and term. My graveyard Winter. smash, and then you can mash. I'm Christopher. You c- it'll catch all on colors and flash, of the spectrum. Then Winter. you can mash. Then you can monster mash. I'm Christopher. Check out this chord progression. Win 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 win. Start here. Start here. It wa- they were up to the no good. Mash. Didn't act like good monsters should. They found themselves a new prey. They planned to rob Santa's sleigh. But they were up to no good. Didn't act like good monsters should. Topic two. <laughs> it's topic two. Which VHS cassette tape am I about to hold up? Wait, I have three guesses. And the first two don't count. Um, is, it, is it Predator Two? <laughs> is it Highlander Two: The Quickening? <laughs> is it Die Hard Two: Die Hard? <laughs> is it Predator? <laughs> Getting warmer. Uh, All right, hold it up. Is it aliens? Uh, getting warmer? I don't know. About the same. Ha- about do the you same even thing. know what VHS tape you're about to hold up? Can I, I ask? A, can I ask a serious question? Yeah. <laughs> well, why do you? Why? Why do you have a VHS copy of the, the movie Predator at your at your place of work? Because I have a. Because I have a great job. <laughs> Is your job watching the movie Predator on VHS? It's probably because he was watching Predator see. Two at home and he couldn't. The real reason? I mean, my my office is in a, a town. Uh, the, the, the library close to my office uh, has uh, like a book sale from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but all it's they like... sell is VHS copies of Predator. Every th- everything you can fit into a grocery bag for $2. <laughs> wow. How big is the grocery bag? Like a normal size Dude. one? <laughs> no, there's a plastic grocery Does that bag. include, I mean, include like right. everything that's in the library? No. Yeah, I was taking I was I was taking like shit Doorknobs. off the Doorknobs. <laughs> <laughs> Fixtures from no, the they bathroom. Have a, no, and light bulb. No, they have a, <laughs> trash. 
cocaine. It was a, it was a free for all in there. <laughs> they have a special room. It's two dollars for a for the whole bag. Yeah, Man. and they're constantly like putting shit in it, like. Like I can think, I, of, I can think of a lot of things I wouldn't take for free, but it's hard to think of something I wouldn't <laughs> throw in a bag if I was getting the whole bag for two dollars. You know, because like there's plenty of room in the bag. It's like almost less than free, 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 free. The answer was I mean, kindergarten cop. <laughs> Yeah, 